Okay, what you want to do now, now that you got the glass up, you want to make you a glass holder. Get you some felt or or something. I made my own my own kind of bracket, kind of bent one around. It's about inch and a half inches wide. Got plenty of protection on the inside. Let's see if we can see this. Yeah, there we go. See, I got a bolt in there. This covers the bolt. It's on a long... It's on a long piece of... plumber strap. And what we'll do, we want, we want to put two of them under there. Because, see, we can... Now that we've got this up, we can hook our turnbuckles in here now. And then we can adjust this up or down so that we can if this was a if that was a rotted seal we wouldn't have to because we couldn't we couldn't replace the seal with all these shims underneath the glass so we've got to get those shims out so that's what this is for and uh i've got a quarter inch bolt in there now you know this stuff will hold pretty heavy pipe so I'm not concerned about this breaking but now what we'll do is we'll get us a screw up there at the top so that we can hold this up so we can take our shims out okay we've got our clamp at the bottom or I should say our yeah I guess our U clamp and then up at the top and we've got a screw but I need to go get, I forgot I need to go get one more turnbuckle for in here so in case we need to raise this. But now what we do is we take the, take the uh, slack off of this side and then we need to take our piece out. See, we need to take this piece out and put a taller piece in there because we had already replaced the seal. And I guess I should have shown you that, but we'll do that. I've got one more on the other side we're going to do, so I'll I'll do that when we get around to it. Well, it's raining right now, or sprinkling. I'm kind of in between the sprinkles, but since a lot of homeowners don't have access to all the good equipment, take and run you bead of silicone on the glass put your stop on there squash it in there so that the silicone squashes out very well put some nails in there let it set overnight and that'll hold the window in place because you've already got the height we've already got the height established of what we need to do there so, but I'm going to put the camera down and put some nails in there. Okay, this uh, silicone has set up last night. So we know this glass is not going to slide down. I mean, it, it will slide down over the years. It's going to take several years. But in any case, I've got the new piece cut for here. It made up the difference. We took out that little shallow piece. Now we put the bigger one in because we, now we've got the window all the way up. And okay, we've got our trim all the way around the window. We got our one section, you know, the one with the U-clamp on it. We've got it off. We've got this one side pulled off the window. We just need to take this last one off. We can use this stuff for either some plumbing work or for another window. Got our
whatever you call this thing, I forgot. All right, now down here on the bottom, you can see we've got a little bit of space on this side, not much. On the other side, we're pretty much sitting on the lumber, so that's good. I gotta put my last screw in in this sill. And uh, what I normally do to take up space, because like I said, this thing is eventually gonna slide back down anyway. And we don't want to have to do this again. You can go to your parts store. You can get some gasket material. What I do is I just take some old garden hose. Or old heater hose. Just cut you some small pieces off of it. And you can use them underneath. A pair of scissors will cut this stuff. Heater hose is a little bit thicker. And the nice thing about it. It's, it's constantly under pressure being round so once you slide it under there it's not coming out okay let me move over here the other section see it won't go under there let me try over here yeah here we go maybe uh, it's a little bit thick, so we'll use the garden hose over here. Okay, got half our garden hose. Now don't use the old garden hose. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, we got that under there. Now you want to get wherever there's a space. Yeah, we might get something under there. Yeah, we're gonna get something under there. So, okay, well that's good. And uh, but this other end, it's it's sitting right on top of that. So. We're good to go. Now one thing I will say, now that they've come out with all these new caulkings and stuff, use a really good caulking against the glass and your seal. Do not put any trim at the bottom up against your window. You want the rainwater to come run down and then off. If you have you have a piece of trim there what happens over time the wood shrinks opens up a little spot you get water in behind there next thing you know you got water sitting on your seal next thing you know you're getting you're getting moisture up in behind the window well, even just moisture over a period of time will rot stuff so the best thing to do is just run your real good bead of caulking across the bottom and it's best to use a good oil base polyethylene or polyurethane not, not polyurethane that urethane caulking I mean it's it's a pain to get out but once you put it on you never ever have to worry about it again any y'all ever wonder ever wondered about this battery powered caulk gun this is definitely the cat's meow this thing is great, especially with this oil-based caulk. Yeah, you can see how we're just sort of moving right along here. And there's our 
Rubber. Spicer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back out and put a piece of insulated glass in here. Since this is just what they call an eel glass, I want to get something that's got a, it's a little bit more energy efficient. So, but I'm just kind of showing you what you need to go through. And of course, you do insulated glass exactly the same way. You have no difference. The only difference is you got to have a little wider spaces, spacers. Well, by golly, we're done. Now what we'll do, we'll come back and prime and paint and caulk the rest of this trim. And then you're good to go. Let's see, with just this speed of caulk right there, your rainwater's going to run down, jump over it, and just come off. Nothing to get in behind there and trap it. Okay, now we put our our blocks to kind of push this glass in place. Yeah, see that will hold that will hold pressure against that inside seal, or I guess I should say stool. Put a couple of more on here. the other end. Alrighty, we're done. All we got left to do now is just the painting part.